Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey guys, just wanted to jump in here real quick and say uh, I apologize for leaving my Evil Gaming branding and my Streamlabs um, link on the video. I completely forgot when I was editing this, I used my editing software that I use for editing my gaming videos. So just ignore that, unless of course you, you're into gaming, then by all means, drop by and say hi. But uh, yeah, without that, with that being said, let's get into the video. So I'm going to do a little bit of an unorthodox video for my channel. This is stock market stuff. If you're not into this sort of stuff, if you haven't been following any of the uh, AMC, GME, Robinhood saga, go ahead, click off this video. No hard feelings. But um, if you are in the community, I have a few things I want to say that it, I don't think anybody's really talking about. Uh, and I'm probably going to mess up along the way because I don't know a lot of the literature and wording. I don't know a lot of the wording. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. So... Basically, what I wanted to say is that, for one, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I have no clue what I'm talking about aside from what I've learned over the last couple of months. And the biggest takeaway I got from that is don't listen to the big time YouTube creators that are putting dates and setting price targets because they don't have a freaking clue. So first and foremost, I want to get this out of the way because it's in my head and it's the one thing that's been picking away at me. Back when Adam Aaron sold his last bit of shares, he did come out and say that he was going to sell more. Uh, if I recall, I I think he did say in January he was going to sell them. Fine, whatever. He has every right to sell his shares. The other worry I have right now is share dilution. He wanted to to do share dilution which he said wouldn't happen until 2022. Well, 2022 is just around the corner. So what's happening? And I don't see anybody, I don't hear anybody talking about this. Everybody seems to have swept this under the rug, but it's it's right there. And I, I'm worried that these hedgies have remembered about that. And that's what their plan is. They're keeping it down as low as they can right before the new year. Next thing you know, our $30 shares are now only worth $15. Great, right? But back to what I originally wanted to start with. So had I not listened to all these YouTube creators with their unrealistic price targets and dates, back here when we ran up to $72, I would have took profits. You know, if I, if I knew what I know now, I would have taken profits, missed out on hundreds of thousands of dollars from not taking profits over the, the period of several months. And that was because these guys would put price targets on it. They would say, oh, $72, it's gonna retrace back to $68, and then it's gonna rise up. But instead of it retracing back to $68, it bloody well tanks all the way down. And then you're like, oh crap, well, I may as well just hold it now, it's already went back down. Well, that is the mistake I made. I should have still taken profits. And that is what I've been doing recently, and I've more than doubled my position in the last uh, couple of weeks just from doing, you know, watching it swing a couple dollars. It's, I think they call it swing trading. So these guys, they, they pump this time frame and these price targets. And I think the reason they do it is so they can capitalize on it and swing trade it. I, I'm almost certain that's what's happening. In fact, I, I listened to one YouTuber and he kind of, during his TA, he kind of let something slip a little bit, and that is exactly what it implied. Now, it, But he corrected himself. And I'm not going to say any names. I'm not going to put any YouTubers out. I'm not going to blast anybody. I'm not about that. But these guys are making a fortune just from guys like me watching those videos. You know, the there's five channels that are pretty main channels. Like one of them in particular makes well over $150,000 a year on the channel. And this has all just happened, come to light. Like they just started these channels. They're, it's not like they've been YouTubers for decades. You know, this is new. And another one makes, you know, a good six figure salary. And that doesn't include any sponsorships that they get from places like Weeble or Ortex or whoever sponsors them. And Super Chats. They get a fortune from Super Chats. One of the guys came out and told people how much he made in Super Chats. 
it was six figures way up there. Like you wouldn't believe it. And I, I think the reason they do this is they get the price to go up. They get the FOMO to kick in. They take advantage. They sell it. And now they're feeding a, a false timeline and false price targets to keep people intrigued, to keep people's um, emotions running high. You know, the, it's going, it's going, it's going, you know, and they, they always go back to back in June. This is what it was. You know, this is what's going to happen. We got higher short interest now. We get blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever, whatever. But it seems to always go the opposite way. And I think the reason being is because some of them do, I think, hold a pretty substantial amount of shares, or at least they did. But I think they're day trading them. So they watch it go in, or they watch it go up, they sell. You know, they wait for the bottom, then they buy back in, and they just keep redoing it, and they keep pumping that same timeline, you know, that same price target. So it's just, I don't understand why people aren't really talking about this. You know, maybe they're scared to to blast people. I, I don't really know, but it's frustrating, you know, and you post things on some of these forums to ask a genuine question and you're immediately called a shill. Like I asked the question about Adam Aaron selling shares and the share dilution. And I started getting threats on there, people bashing me and telling me, show us what you have, show us your position. And I did, I showed my position. I got nothing to hide on there. And they're going on saying it's edited. That's a Photoshopped image, whatever. I'm not gonna play those games. All I was trying to convey across is the the facts that we have Adam Aaron selling shares, talking about selling shares, and share dilution right around the corner. What's going to happen? If you have answers, please put them in the comments. Um, I'm, I probably will do a couple more of these videos, so if you're into this, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, but I'm going to leave that there. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Like, I... I I don't have a clue what I'm talking about when it comes to the stock market. I really don't. All I know, I've literally lost out on hundreds of thousands of dollars over the past several months by listening to these dates and, you know, getting my own hopes up. I've, I did. I mean, I can be honest, thinking, oh, $100,000 price target. We can't even break 50 right now. There's no, you know, and another thing. We got all this, oh, buy and hold, buy and hold. Well, it doesn't seem to be all that much buying. And just holding isn't going to do anything. It, it doesn't create any volatility. You need buying pressure. I mean, look at, like, are people not really buying when they say they're buying? Are they just saying it to fit in? Are they saying it to be cool? I already told you. I doubled my position. When I say I'm buying, I'm buying. When I... Say I'm selling, I'm selling, you know, and I'm, and I've, I've got my finger on that sell button coming up. I've been looking at a few things and I'm a little bit hesitant of what's coming. So until I get answers about this shared dilution and, uh, Adam Aaron selling, I'll be sitting on the back burner for a little while. So yeah, with that said, I'm going to leave that there. Much love. Peace out. We'll see you on the next one.